Tonight's full moon will be a supermoon. The name is coined by an astrologer back in the 1970s. When the Earth and the moon are as close as they can get in the orbit, we call that perigee. So technically, the science term for this event would be a perigee full moon. Supermoons occur when the moon's within 90% approach to the Earth in its elliptical orbit, and can be as much as 14% larger and 30% brighter than the average full moon. It'll be a full moon that is closer to the Earth than it's been since 1948, and as close as it's going to be until the year 2034. Astronomers and stargazers find the supermoon undesirable due to the brightness and size. In fact, they view the full moon, and particularly the supermoon, as an enemy because it blocks out the view of the night sky. However, the moon has always played an important role in many cultures and religions. In the Southwest, the Hopi time, they're planting, hunting, and all ceremonies by the moon's phases. Algonquins of New England and American settlers dubbed November supermoon as a beaver moon. This is because it fell in a time of year when they would set traps for beavers ahead of the winter. Astrologers look at the supermoon, which is in the constellation of Taurus, as a time of healing, being grounded, practical, and appreciating the natural world around us. The best time to view the supermoon is at dusk, when it's near the horizon. The moon will look brighter and larger. You'll see why they call it a supermoon. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.